Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. It's post-spawn walleye time on the Bay of Green Bay with Brett Jolly. Yeah. <laughs> Neon, Neon. These fish are all in our harbors. Close to 14 there. Are you having fun? I'm having a blast. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Yes, folks, a beautiful day in April, and there aren't many of them, are there? No, not lately. <laughs> no, but I'm out with my buddy Brett Jolly, truly one of my favorite days of the year. We're up on the west side of Green Bay, and we're targeting post-spawn walleyes yeah. today. Now, are, are, is that different than pre-spawn walleyes as far as the fishing is concerned? The fish are more aggressive than pre-spawn, um, so we typically catch more fish. They're a little skinnier. They're not the big fat ones that we catch pre-spawn that are cool looking, but uh, very similar spots. Um, sometimes post-spawn fish will be really shallow. Um, just like pre-spawn, they're looking for the warmest water. So that's what we're going to do is ride around, look for warm, dirty water. Well, we got a special guest today. Yeah. We got Blake with us today, and we got our buddy Rob. Hey. He took a day off from nice. Old Fibbers to come and fish with us. That'll be fun, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. That'll be a good time. You bet. Hey, folks, so show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. They say things aren't built like they used to be. Tell that to John Johnson, the craftsman behind Recon Boats. He and his small team make each boat by hand, maintaining the highest standards. Every shred of fiberglass, every stitch of upholstery, every latch, hinge, and switch. It's all in the details, which is why the angler is at the forefront of the design philosophy for every Recon Boat. Recon Boats made by craftsmen, built for fishermen. I'll tell you what, folks, I've been a proud user of Amsoil for many years, and us sportsmen a lot of times not only have a truck, but a boat, an ATV, a snowmobile. And how do you figure out which Amsoil product to use in each machine? Yeah, that can be a challenge sometimes, and you know, we make it easy. We've got a lookup guide, you just go to amsoil.com, you put in your vehicle, whatever it may be, whether it's a boat, a wheeler, a truck, a trailer, whatever, um, you pick out your product, it tells you how much and which product to put in, real simple. And one thing I want to mention too, Amsoil does a ton of research before you even put the product on the market. You make sure that it's the best. That's correct. It's years in the making for a product to launch. There's a ton of research and development to make sure that it's going to protect like it's supposed to. And folks, to find the Amsoil you want, go to Amsoil.com. Chris McGillis of McGillis Weimer, experienced personal injury lawyers. A lot of the people that watch your show, I mean, those are the type of customers and clients that we have, right? I mean, good people, care about their community, they're passionate about the outdoors. That's just been a way to have a bond with somebody in a relationship. To truly tell a, a client's story to a jury or a judge and be persuasive, I really think you got to be able to walk in their shoes and, and, and be able to explain why what happened to them matters. Hey, welcome back, folks. As we talked about post-spawn walleye fishing on the west side of the Bay of Green Bay. And Jowls, I'll tell you what, you totally rely on the mega side imaging and you have Absolutely. the Hummingbird Solex. Yep. And you can really clear, point the walleyes out. Right there's one right there. That looks like a pretty good sized fish. Okay, and so you will not start fishing until you roam an area and yep. mark spots, right? Yeah, I go through, I'll mark an icon when I see a bunch of fish, and then I make a quiet drift back through through them. Uh, get upwind and just come right back through and, and we catch them. Now that's a walleye, that's a walleye, Those that's are... a walleye, that's a walleye. <laughs> Those are all walleyes, yep. So the mega side imaging is an important piece of equipment. Absolutely, I, I wouldn't fish without it. Okay, we found our walleyes with the mega side imaging. Yep. Now the best baits, to, you, you love hair jigs, I, don't you? Absolutely, best bait to use in the spring. Now this uh, this is by Kalins, mm -hmm. and what's neat about this, it comes with a stinger hook, and that stinger hook is, is pretty important? It's absolutely important. Probably 90% of your fish are going to come on that stinger. If you're fishing a hair jig without a stinger, you're
you're wasting your time. You have to have a stinger hook with a hair jig. Now, you love the Livingston Pro Ripper too. And, yeah, and that's for bait. a little deeper water? Um, you know, five feet or deeper probably. Um, I have caught them shallower with it. You just gotta really be snapping it. Uh, but yeah, no, both great bait styles for this time of year. Hey, here we go, Jowls, nice front fish. of the boat. Nice did, did you, you saw my line jump on that, didn't you, Rob? Yeah. I okay, did. let's get that clam ready. Okay, Jallo. That's a big one. There we go, buddy. Oh, wow. Hey, 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 what a way <laughs> to start the day there, buddy. Yeah. That's that, a nice fish. I, I, you know what? This time of the year, I like going to a smaller plastic. Is, yeah. that, is that a good idea? Yeah, plastics can be another great bait out here along with the hair jigs and everything else. Yeah, that was a fun hit, buddy. Nice. You know, I'm kind of just popping it along the bottom and then your line jumps. That's one of my favorite things. Now, two weeks ago, how much would that pre-spawn walleye fit uh, be this, about? This one's probably about five right now. It probably would have been about seven or eight. Fish on! Hey, how's it? It's nice out today for a change. I know. It's a beautiful day. What was that Oops, one on? Come around back Oh, here. the hair jig. The hair jig. Classic hair jig. Ooh, Ooh, that's a nice walleye. There you go. Come on. One more pump. There, there you go. go. Good job. And when they're hooked in the lower part of the uh, jaw like that, Jolly, what a walleye does is he tries to pin the bait to the bottom. Is that the deal? Yeah, that happens a lot. This one actually had the stinger in his mouth and then the jig was stuck in the side of him. Uh, but yeah, we get a lot of them where they're hooked in the bottom like that or whatever, and they're they're pinning it to the bottom. And what happens a lot of times is you'll feel that dunk and miss them, and you mm -hmm. keep working it, and they'll come back and hit it again. Look at even Captain Brett Jolly is going to do it. Oh, and Blake just missed one. Yeah, she got Blake, bit you're going to have to get on the net there. Ooh, look at that walleye. Got it. Brett, Rob. these are just gorgeous walleyes, aren't they? Yeah, they're nice. Look at that fish. Now that is a beauty. Yep, that's and, another one on the stinger. Hey, you know, one tip that you've always taught me out here this time of year is you don't want clear water. You want to look for dirty water. Yeah, you, you got to find the dirty water. Uh, dirty water is always warmer than the clear water. Okay. And all the bait fish, everything will be up in this dirty water. That's about your next cast too, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of fish in here, John. When you told me about the numbers that you guys catch. Yeah. What's your best day out here so far this spring? Um, I had one day we had 56. 56 walleye. Yeah. Ooh, fish! Wow. Oh, Blake's Blake going too. Up now oh, too. that's a big fish! That's a big fish! This hit right by the boat. Oh, we're gonna get jollies in after we get yours in. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's and a nice you. fish, Dad. Okay. Ooh, good fight. There you go. Oh. Blake, that is a beautiful walleye. <laughs> That's nice. an awesome fish. Hit right by the boat? Right by the boat. Okay, Blake's was a beauty yeah. and yours is a beauty. <laughs> hey, let's get organized here, guys. Yeah. We'll show those together. That is so cool. And what you said to Blake, though, reel all the way into the side of the boat. All the way right up to the boat. I catch a ton of fish vertical right under the boat here in three feet of water. It happens all the time. You know, today's April 16th, Brett. Um, this walleye fishing stays pretty good for a long time. Oh, yeah. I mean, all year. I catch fish out here all summer long into fall. Uh, you know, it's just a great fishery. That air jig is something else, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's a pretty special cold water bait. In spring, fall. Always works in colder water. Look at that. That is so cool, Brett. Oh, yeah. Look at that fish. I mean, that's just amazing. And most of these fish that we were catching are, are spawned out females, right? Most of them. Um, I did have a pre spawn this morning, and this one actually looks like it's still got some eggs in it, too. It's, oh, really? Yeah, that's, that's a well That's a chunky fish. one. Yeah, just, that, that one hasn't dandy. spawned yet. And you know, I always want to go back to this, Brett, that, you know, so many guys that fish walleyes all their lives are looking for rock bars in 20 feet of water. Yeah. And that's just not the case. There's here. times, yes, certain times absolutely. of year, but this time of year, shallow water, warm water, that's where they are. You were getting a little frustrated. How yeah, many I, bites well, did you have? I, I missed a few fish, but then I decided to go with the same color that old Jowls had. On. Which is? Uh, I can't say it's secret. Okay. Ooh, there we go. The smallest of the day. No, I'm just teasing you. That one actually got the main hook. There we go. Hey, you know what? Opening day isn't too far away, about oh. three, four weeks. And uh, people should come up and visit you at the St. Germain Lodge in Fibbers. Uh, that opening weekend is going to be good this year because of the early ice out. Yeah, no, I mean, fish, fish are probably actually like spawning right now in a lot of our lakes. And, uh, 
you know, instead of like the last several years where you're tying up fishing them, like what we're doing right here, right now on our lakes. I mean, I think the fish are going to be, you know, first green weeds of the year, wood, stuff like that. The Like it used to be when we actually had a real spring. <laughs> oh, like Again, you, right by the boat. You love that Caitlin's air jig, don't you? Oh, yes. Here and he it's, is. It's quite an easy retrieve. Okay. Nice fish. The, Thank you, Josh. Is that in the uh, stinger hook? Uh, that one had the main hook. Wow. Nice. Nice job. Yeah, so the retrieve for the hair jig is pretty easy. You just let it sink and do a couple cranks and let it go back down, and usually they hit on the fall. I think that bo keeping bottom contact is... is Yes, and it's not that hard in two, three feet of water, but yes, bottom contact is crucial. Hey folks, Fleet Farm's got a really cool contest going on right now. You can win a televised fishing trip for two with myself, guide Josh Teigen, and Blake up on Chiguamagon Bay in Ashland, Wisconsin. Second prize is a brand new Minn Kota trolling motor. Third prize, a Fleet Farm gift card. To enter is really, really simple. All you have to do is text Go Fish to 86516. Go Fish to 86516. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. Save 59% on the Rapala Purple Descent Wrap V Blade Crankbait. On sale, two for $8. Dad, I think you need to switch to the hair jig. No offense. I know, I, I know. <laughs> but that was your very next cast, right? Yep. And that was pretty far out, so that was my very Ooh, nice. next. Oh, that's a beautiful fish, Blake. <laughs> nice job. Yeah, so that was my very next cast. Something oh. special about the Bay of Green Bay, isn't there? Yes, we are very spoiled to have this fishery. I mean, I think, you know, overall Lake, Mary, Lake Erie might be the best in the world, but yes. this is certainly a close second, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Nice fish right there. That was my very next cast. I just heard my dad go, ugh. Yeah, no. she's getting pretty annoying, isn't she, Rob? <gasps> Fine. She's the right color on. <laughs> yeah, the color she's doing good. We'll talk about that. I think it's my skill. There we go. So, Jolly, does color matter with the hair jigs? Yeah, it can. Um, anything purple usually works. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, some days, depending on light, and wind and whatever i find yep. different colors work better that day i usually yep. start with something purple and then kind of go from there depending on what the fish tell me well they seem to like this color yeah it's a good one purple <laughs> and chartreuse is always good we are fishing the bay of green bay out of Ocano, wisconsin a two hour drive from milwaukee three and a half hours from chicago and four and a half hours from minneapolis if you are a spring walleye fisherman grab some of these they're an incredible bait kaolins Rattling Google Eye, hair jigs. Right there, Ryan. Ooh, that one pounded it. Wow, dude, that is my first cast. Beautiful walleye right there on the hair, man. Perky, lively, smacking hair jigs. Doesn't get much better, does it? Big, fat, chunky spring walleyes. Live imaging shows you what's below in real time with edge to edge clarity and no gaps in coverage. All so you can turn must watch detail into non stop action. Only from Humminbird. You know, folks, we fish big water all the time Lake Erie, Lake Michigan, Lake Superior, and today the Atlantic Ocean. And for my entire career, I've relied on, on Johnson pumps as a bilge pump. Uh, what makes Johnson pumps so reliable? Yeah, John, so our motto is reliability on board. We've been making pumps for over 50 years, and the last thing you want to think about when you're out on the water like this is your bilge pump, and is it reliable? Do you have extra cartridges? Can you make a change if you were to have a failure? With our new Aqua Void cartridge bilge pump, we've made all that really easy for you. And Johnson Pump, the new model again is called? Aqua Void. Okay, well, I was gonna say, I was gonna flip that one in, Jolly, till I saw him. Yeah, it's a nice fish. That's a nice, big butt. Oh. Hold him up there, Jolly. Oh, that's a good one. Would you? That is a nice, I can grab one. What is that, seven pounds? Turn yeah, around. Probably, it's a nice fish. Yeah, that is. 
I'm the jerk minnow. Yeah, well, you know me. I get, you know, you know that's one thing, though, that I should really talk about. Um, I get too one-dimensional sometimes, you know, and yeah. I think a lot of fishermen do. They've had success with the bait, and they stick with it too long. Yeah, that happens to a lot of people. You know, you got to go with what's working, but today just about everything seems to be working. These fish are hungry. Are you wow. having fun? This is a blast and a half. This it, is awesome. Jolly, do you ever see those 14 or 15 inches of all this big? <laughs> you know, once uh, once the smaller males start dumping out of the river, we'll see some smaller ones. But right now, these are mostly all post-spawn females with a few pre-spawn mixed in. And we're ju we're just fishing sand, correct? You yeah, said? just sand. There's there's nothing here. We're yep. just fishing warm. What we're fishing is the warm water. Okay, that's warm, key. dirty water. And warm, that warm, dirty. dirty water could be anywhere. It might not be here tomorrow. It might okay. be somewhere else. <laughs> rabo, rabo. Okay, buddy, another nice one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Wrapped around them. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Get them in there. Nice job. Boy, this is fun, folks. There is something special about spring fishing over here. You, when, you and I have been coming over here with Jolly for how many years? Ten, at least ten. Oh yeah. At least yeah. Ten, twelve years. And it's a special deal, isn't it? It is. I mean, nice. where you can catch walleyes like that, and that's, we've only been fishing two hours. What do you think we've got, about 15, 12, 15? Yeah, somewhere, somewhere around, around there. there. Actually, when they're, when they're in this shallow water, they actually come up on top. Yeah, they don't have anywhere else to go. They come splashing up right away. Folks, this is amazing. This is the shallowest I've ever fished for walleyes, except for last year when we did it. Yep. Yeah, there's a bunch of fish in like two, two and a half feet of water here. Okay, that's a dandy. Oh, yeah. Is that a pre-spawn? Uh, that one's got a kind of a fat tummy. The males get pretty fat, too? Uh, I mean, they're healthy fish, but right. they're, they're not built like this, like the females are. Yeah, that's a beautiful walleye right yeah. there, Brett. Nice fish. I think this is a walleye, Dad. Yeah, this looks like a walleye. <laughs> Can't see what it is. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Nicely done. Thanks, Jolly. Now, does time of day make a difference for walleyes? No, I was catching them just as good this morning before you guys got here, yeah. and they're biting really good right now in the middle of the day. Um, so yeah, no, it doesn't really matter. Nice. That's. <laughs> I mean, how many have we caught in a few hours? This is quite unreal. a few. Now that was interesting, Brad, and you told me about that earlier. That fish hit, I missed him, and I kept the cadence up, and he came right back and smoked it. Yep, that's that's what they do when they're trying to pin it to the bottom, okay. and then they come back around and they hit it. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there we boy. go. Just gorgeous, gorgeous walleyes, buddy. And you know, we were talking earlier, folks, in the program, about uh, how these fish are feeding shallow. So one rule of thumb is if you can see the bottom, get out of there and find dirty yeah. water. Yep, the water's not dirty enough if you can see bottom. Uh, you know, you gotta find that dirty, warm water. That's where all the bait fish are. That's where these fish wanna be. That's the post-spawn walleye technique. Yep. <laughs> This is unreal, Dad. I know, this I'm not is... gonna get you out of here, am I? <laughs> no, beautiful evening, great fishing, great company. And no small walleyes. Nope. Jolly, come on, buddy. I mean, this is just incredible. You I know can't that? believe this. You this know, is... this time of year, this is just how the fishing is almost every day. I mean, that's phenomenal. Yeah, just lots of nice fish. But you did tell me one thing. If you got real calm conditions... It can be tough when it's calm. Then then a lot of times you got to find some deep, dirty water. Um, but yeah, or go to a river or something like that. And but... this is a perfect breeze today. Yeah, as long as you got a little chop on the water, you know, that, that really makes the bite better. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2024 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Matthew Dolly of Racine, Wisconsin, caught the 16 and a quarter inch crappie on the Root River on a shiner. Randall Busler of Watertown, Wisconsin, caught this 45 inch, 25 pound muskie on Sand Lake using a sucker. Josh Lithke of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, caught the 75 and a half inch, 70 pound sturgeon using a spear on Lake Winnebago. John Singer of Wapaka, Wisconsin, caught this 15 inch perch in North Dakota on a wax worm. And this week's first kid winner is Jackson Sullivan from Lake Villa, Illinois, caught this beautiful 36 inch northern pike on Buffalo Lake 
on a tip-up. And Quinn Stoker of Greendale, Wisconsin, caught this nine-inch bluegill on Scout Lake on a waxworm. Each week, I shop online at fleetfarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, 30% off all Berkeley items on sale starting at $139. And 20% off MAPS fishing lures on sale starting at $287. Use a Polar trailer or cart to check off your to-dos easily and quickly. All Polar trailers and carts are built to last and come with a five-year warranty. Polar trailers and carts are built for projects, no matter what you have to get done. These trailers and carts can withstand anything when you put them to the test. They are built strong. Polar trailers and carts, built for lawn, garden, farm, and field to help you get all your outside projects done. Double oh, up. double header there, you guys. <laughs> we just released that last one, too. Wow. Unbelievable, Jolly. Okay, here comes Jolly. There's Ooh. a in you the net. It? Jolly's in the net. Blake, where are you? <laughs> in the net. In the net. There we go. <laughs> yeah, nice job. Good job. <laughs> Multi <laughs> Hey, Jolly, you said Blake's pretty good with that air jig. Uh, huh? She's doing awesome, yeah. Well, I've learned from the best. <laughs> yeah, two gorgeous fish. You know, it really is weird, though, man. These are all, I don't think, have we caught one under 20 inches? Probably not. No, they've, they're all post-spawn females, so they're all a little bigger. I mean, it's phenomenal, Brett. Yeah, no, I these mean, are some great fish. Boy, it seems like this bite is getting better later in the afternoon for some reason. This wind sh shifted and it's pushing in here and the fish are really stacking up. <laughs> Jolly. Okay, there, is that an example of the stinger hook right there, Brett? Yep, that one was on the stinger for sure. Um, and if, you know, that's the biggest thing with these hair jigs. You right. Know, he just had the stinger. If you're not using a stinger hook, you're not going to be catching many fish. And that's kind of cool, the Kalen's packaging that, that comes with a yeah. stinger hook. Yep. A lot of them don't. Uh, you got to buy them separate. So uh, that's a nice, nice benefit. Oh, right Ooh. under the boat. Was that a side of the boat yeah, here? Yeah, the last little hop. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Here he is, and we got ourselves a, what do you think, another giant walleye. Oh, oh, jolly, that's a beauty, too. <laughs> yep, nice fish. So the males are still in the river? Yeah, a lot of the males are still in the river. All these females have dumped back out. They, You know, as soon as they drop, they start heading out, um, and the, the males will linger around for a while up in the river. So they kind of relax a couple of days, and then they put the, what do they say, the old feed bag yeah. on, huh? Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing doing uh you know they're they're building themselves back up they're resting on these shallow flats and they're biting after catching a bunch of walleyes don't you get a little hungry always you do i know that hey brett this is a real treat i got for you today you love johnsonville regular brats don't you i do now we have a special flavor today and this is brand new for this summer it is uh johnsonville regular brats but they infuse them with wine and kugels summer shandy Ooh, that's Ooh. one of my favorite yeah. beers yeah is it really <laughs> yeah well the nice thing is you put them on the grill 15 20 minutes relax have a summer shandy while you're making the brats and i'll tell you what they are good you're going to be the first one to taste them on TV. Mm, really good. What do you think? It's delicious. Really? Yeah, you can taste a little bit of the beer. And you love them. I love it. Oh, okay. Wine and Kugels, Summer Shandy, and Johnsonville Brats get together. Look for this special flavor at your favorite retailer today. I just can't get over this. I know. It is just Ooh, unreal. Oh, here he is. Another beautiful walleye. Another beautiful Walter on the hair jig. No, it's just the <laughs> amount of time that we've fished and the oh. numbers of fish that we've caught. Yep, and it's such an easy retrieve to learn. You Is know? it really? Yes, yep, and it's clearly very effective. Nice fish there, Jallo. They're yeah. all beautiful fish. Yeah, buddy. they're all nice ones. There's another stinger hook. Whoop. Yep. Nicely done, Blake. I didn't even say anything when I got that. I was like, oh, just another one. Well, you two in the back of the boat have kicked some butt today. Yes, we yes, have. Yes, you have. Here he is. Back of the boat always does, Rob said. Ooh, look at that cool white tail coming in there, <laughs> Jolly. There we go, guys. Oh, well, I can't thank you enough, Jolly, for this 
day. This Ooh. is, I wouldn't even say a day, three hours. <laughs> Pretty impressive, really, yeah. Brett. Really, really nice is. fish. And you know, you and I have gone to Lake Erie together several times. Yeah. I, it's pretty close. It's it's close. You know, we don't have the same kind of reproduction that Lake Erie has, so we got to let a lot of the bigger fish go here. Um, you know, it's it's not like you can come out here and kill a bunch of big fish and expect it to be good forever. Right. Charlie, I want to go home. <laughs> well, there's walleyes to be caught. <laughs> oh, look kidding. at this guy. This is a lot of fun. No, I'll tell you what, Jolly, I've been doing this show a long time. This is one of the fastest shows I've ever filmed. Yeah, yeah, this has uh, been some good fishing today. How big is that one now, so people yeah, get an idea? That's like a 20, 21. Folks, Fleet Farm has a really neat Facebook Live event coming up Saturday the 27th. At the Fleet Farm store in West Bend, we'll have plenty of pros on hand to talk about planer board fishing, bobber fishing, jigging techniques, new lures for 2024, a look at some of the hot new rods and reels available. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of pros there to answer questions, and Blake and I will be there for a meet and greet from 11 o'clock to noon. Captain Brett Jolly guides the Bay of Green Bay on a daily basis. For more information, give Brett a call. That phone number is 715-581-5678. 581-5678. Oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. There's never been a better time to get a new R-Max than right now during the Yamaha Get Out and Ride sales event. Take advantage of our amazing deals on the entire Wolverine R-Max family of side-by-sides. During the Yamaha Get Out and Ride sales event, you can now get as low as 3.99 APR for 84 months or up to $3,500 customer cash on your new Wolverine R-Max. This is getting comical. This is <laughs> one after another after another. Yeah. Ooh, that's Ooh, a good one. Look at this one. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, oh, oh jolly. Look oh. at the size of that walleye. <laughs> Holy <laughs> moly. That's Wow, what a beautiful fish. That's Way to one. end the day. And you're, you're booked, but you have buddies that you trust that. Yeah. yeah. Chris Ventimiglia, Sterling King. I yeah. got a couple other guys that work with me. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, give me a call and I can get people set up with those guys. What a phenomenal day. Thanks, Jolly. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> and, folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet, but we'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm Blake Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Thank you.